All right, so let's go ahead and go through the setup process. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to power up our phone. So I'm going to press and hold the power button. It should have a charge. Uh, you'll notice that you have your Google logo come up immediately. And we'll see as it goes through the setup process. It should be standard as any Android setup process goes. Uh, here we have a wonderful um, boot display. And we'll give that a second as it's uh, loading the Android operating system for the very first time. And again, this is typically the uh, the process that takes probably the, the most time on the initial display. If you do shut off your phone and turn it on for the first time, it won't take that long uh, to boot. But it's obviously going through a setup process. Um, and it does seem that the setup process at this time is a little bit more lengthier than at least what I can recall when starting up my Note 3 or my S4 from the very beginning. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a few seconds and see how far it takes us. Okay, I did feel something. The phone vibrated a little bit, so it looks like it's okay. So it's getting closer. So now, what we're going to do is uh, obviously I'm, I'm in the U.S., so I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, United English, United States. Uh, there is no SIM card inserted, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip that part. I'll put a SIM card a little bit later. It's going to search for Wi-Fi. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my Wi-Fi. Right, so I went ahead and set up my Wi-Fi. And immediately what I'm getting is that there's a system update. So let's go ahead and go through the system update. I'll pause and we'll come back to once the update is complete or the download. All right, let's go back. Uh, this is pretty fast. I'm pretty impressed. This is a 125 meg file that is being downloaded to this phone. And it did it maybe in about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, so the phone is restarting. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I hope that uh, speaks to the kind of performance I'm going to have on this phone, but it downloaded it again a 125 meg file via Wi-Fi in uh, approximately 15 seconds. So uh, what you'll see is if you start your your phone for the first time, it is going to uh, provide a system update. And right now, what we're seeing is a standard Google update. I'll go ahead and pause the video, and we'll come back. Okay, so now after that update that's complete, and it took a while, um, the download was fast, but actually doing the update looks like it was a big update. Um, it looks like I'm starting from scratch again, so I have to choose my uh, my language. I'm going to have to, looks like, um, it, yeah, it looks like I'm going through the same process all over again. So I'll go ahead and put in the Wi-Fi now again. All right, so I went ahead and put in the uh, the, the my Wi-Fi um, access point and then my key again. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in my Google account. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so now I have my my Google account was entered and um, asking about uh, backup. So I'm going to go ahead and opt into that. Uh, some folks are a little concerned about location information, but if you really want to take advantage of all the Google services, you have to opt into that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I have also, um, you know, I'm, I'm okay with Google communicating with me, so I'm not paranoid when it comes to that either. So I hit next. So now um, all my contacts are being placed on in the usual Google fashion, um, and this will take just a couple seconds, so um, it should be pretty quick. So um, we'll go ahead and, and bypass that information, so it's going to allow uh, for personalization. Here I have, um, again, information about the Google, Google Now. Uh, this is pretty standard on most uh, on all the Android phones. Um, there was recently a real nice update as well. And um, I'm going to accept being in with Google now. And uh, here we have an overlay uh, just explaining you know, how uh, the function works. And we're just going to do OK. Again, helping you navigate uh, the screens uh, and organizing your space. We're going to hit OK. And now we're into the, the, the phone. So we're going to let it update. And the next video will go through um, the differences with KitKat and you know really how to take advantage of your Nexus 5. If you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to leave them on the YouTube channel. And as always, uh, don't forget to subscribe and to re recommend this YouTube channel to your friends. Thanks.